everyone, and welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright East Attorney stuff. I get, well, the, something bonus thing. <laughs> Not very good at these intro things, are you? No. I ne I'm never good at everything. <laughs> oh. Well, welcome back. Episode 5, Rise from the Ashes. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the spacing in between episode 5 and Rise from the Ashes. Well, I don't like the spacing of any of these. Like... Like, why didn't they just do, like... A colon? Uh, yeah, why didn't they just do a colon and then just... <sighs> makes me sad. <laughs> anyway, and it also makes me sad that I'm pretty sure the episode and these two is not aligned. Like, <laughs> look, like look at these two. I'm pretty well, yeah, sure... Yeah, well, well, the last one that we did was in the 10th slot. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like... The letters... Like, oh. the, the capital E. Anyways, whatever. Um, yeah, so we're doing the bonus <laughs> episode now. Yeah, which uh, technically isn't bonus, because there's important shit that happens, and some of these characters come back, so, um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, let's start this shit. This was a bonus on the DS. Also, I have to warn, I know who did it in this episode, but I don't remember anything else in this, so me and Cameron are going to have to figure this out together. And I, don't I don't know don't anything, shit from so... This game. Oh, the graphics in this game are so charming. I always forget that there's like a cinematic at the start of these. Yeah. It's the blue badger. That damn badger. Why does that kind of look like Mia, though? You kind of look like Mia. <laughs> it's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. How would you not take it? Don't you have rent due? Don't you have sh a fucking- Don't you have to pay your bills, son? Does Edward take care of all your bills? <laughs> Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. Is this a girl? Yes. There you are, finally! Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Um, who are you? <laughs> It doesn't matter who I am, it only matters who you are! The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey! <laughs> oh, uh, you're, you're not Mia Fey, are you? Do I look like a woman? <laughs> I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey is no longer... Uh, works here. So, you are... the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! You're THE Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Yeah, that one. <laughs> um, yeah, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. <laughs> that's a relief, then! You're better than nobody! I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try this elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time! But... Please, you have to help! It's my sister! Oh. <laughs> Aww. Maya? Could it be? Okay. I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much! My name, you didn't even talk the same. My name's Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? I investigate scientific stuff. Man, she's so cool and sciencey. See this? This is my attorney's badge. Ah, oh, well, I've never seen a real one before. You're the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. Its composition is mostly silver, the gold plating is flaking a bit. She analyzed it scientifically. There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfides. I'd give you mm, $50 for it. 
Sorry, but it's not for sale yet. <laughs> if if being a defense attorney doesn't work out, I can sell it. <laughs> Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of um jumpy, or maybe it's just young. Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Yes, yeah, so no fucking weird comments from you. <laughs> oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. Oh, so should we work at the fucking police attorney? My work is becoming quite well known at my age, no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job at my age, no less. For another future pr professional in training. Isn't she great? <laughs> so, what a. What's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it! She wouldn't stab someone with a knife! She wouldn't! She would shoot them with a gun instead! So it was a murder case? Yeah, you still have murder cases in this game. <laughs> I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it! I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness? J just talk to her! You have to talk to her! Right, I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring my favorite. That's interesting. How would she know Mia? So you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up then? Uh, excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal. Uh, Aviant? Albeit. Albeit, a very unusual one. That's how you spell albeit? Yeah. Huh. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Um, yeah. Sure can't falter for the lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be clear. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. Is there one more? Oh yeah, really should have mine. My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person was a few years below her in school. Oh, so they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. <laughs> now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice for you Well, it's nice for you to help your sister out like that. You must be close. Hmm? Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Oh, damn. <laughs> but, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident <laughs> when I was little. Why are you smiling? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you should be, bitch. Fuck you, piece of shit. Are you gonna examine Charlie? Why he's playing Charlie? He's been take I've been taking care of him in my my absence. Are you sitting here looking at the bellboy across the street? I heard they're planting a second branch outside the hoodie. The gads, the bellboy was staring right at me. It's a steel zammer. Maya stuck it up there on the day that she left. I didn't have the heart to take it down. Oh. I do sometimes get strange looks from clients though. Yeah. Difficult looking legal books stand in the f uh, formidable row that you mock me. I tried reading one and it made my heart hurt. <laughs> when I closed it, it slipped out of my hand. Then on my then my foot hurt too. <laughs> Good job, Phoenix. Yeah. Mia's desk. I sat here even less now than I stopped taking cases. I ought to at least dust it off once in a while. Why I oughta. <laughs> To the detention center we go. Yeah. What's her sister look like? Hot. She better be hot. She's hot. I wonder what's wrong with my- well, Emma. I- <laughs> Emma's probably fucking Maya. <laughs> she got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. Sorry ma'am, it's just your sister? No excuses. Or did you not want that raise this year? Hmm. Uh, under understood, ma'am. What was that all about? <laughs> I 
him right now? Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? But look, I don't want to come here either, okay? Are your trials tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney? I'll be the one in the court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Oh, there she is. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how did you know me? Mia mentioned you. I heard quite a bit. Um, sorry, what exactly is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor of this district. Oh, shit. Wait, so she was, the, she was the one that, like, bitched at Von Karma. Oh, shit, you're right then. Yeah. There might be some other guy. There's other- there's a lot of people in the fucking uh, the- the prosecutor district thing. You're a prosecutor? Isn't she hot? <laughs> She's a baddie. Two sister, one's a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean they're just like... Oh... The face. <laughs> Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? A lot of dots are connecting, especially since we gave them the same fucking voices that Mia and Maya have. Your badge looks new. I polished it daily. In a few years, the gold plaking will fall- will flake off. Then you will see the real you. Ugh, whatever happened to innocent small talk? <laughs> Give it three years. Then we'll see what you have become. Wait a minute, is that a fucking reference? <laughs> There's something you should know before we start. Which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Well, wait, but the suspect, the suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, why don't you just begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st at 5.15pm. That's quite specific. Like the ocean? <laughs> It was a witness's uh, decomposition. Deposition. Deposition, thank you. <laughs> the witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my. Was that a. That was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? <laughs> the crime took place in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? And your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's just great. Man, imagine getting caught with a crime. Couldn't be me. I get away with all my crimes. <laughs> so, who was the victim? An investigator of the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. No! No! <laughs> it's not gumshoe! It can't be! A detective! Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. No. By you? Death was wasn't imminent, but the wound was fatal. I see you. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. And you know what that means, don't you? Uh oh. What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Death sentence. Well, it means the police department will consider it a matter of pride that they find me guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learned. <laughs> so you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handed by the prosecutors in this district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do their job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you recognize the, the, the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Oh, uh, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh shit, I didn't realize it was bandaged. <laughs> oh, this? I cut myself an accident when I stabbed him, that is. Damn, she's already confessing uh -huh. to everything. I was not. I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? <laughs> Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? 
How much shit does this lore? <laughs> uh, you were in the same school as Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, didn't she? Well, well, why not? I didn't drag him all the way here from his office. Yeah. Although it, it seems that he had, he has very little in little in common with Mia. Hey, it was in law school. I was in my third year, and she was auditing the class. What does auditing mean? Like mm. freshman or? Um, uh, I don't know. I've never I haven't heard that term used. Auditing the class. Is it like shadowing to see? Maybe. Because I know sometimes they do tours of like schools. I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That was probably why she was attracted to me. They were gay? <laughs> They were gay. They were gay? <laughs> Excuse me? Please tell me this. Intellectually attracted. Lana was top of her class in school. Oh. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. I really thought they were going like me and, and L Lana had a fucking sexual gay like awakening in, <laughs> in college. W. <laughs> you know what? That, that'd be awesome if it was. <laughs> It sounds a little different when when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. But, but Lana... Why? Why are you doing this to me? Oh. You never think of anyone but yourself. Oh, damn. <laughs> I know you didn't do it, Lana, I know. So, so how can you say you did? You bitch! <laughs> if I lose you, I'm gonna kill my- I'll kill you <laughs> alone. And then I'll kill myself! I, I hate you, Lana! Damn. Mr. Wright? Yes? I believe your- our dis discussion here has ended. The rest, I leave to you. Um, you mean you're requesting my services at your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get, the bo to, get to the bottom of this. One has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm going to find out what! I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. Well, like a bitch? <laughs> I just never expected to, to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, I'm having a, a trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... well, maybe not. Sounds like there's something there that defines a simple scientific exclamation. Let's go check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay! Wait a minute, since... Wait, in the anime that we watch, Edgeworth has that cool red car, do you think he, like, it's parked down there? I hope so. We get to see it? What kind of fucking parking lot is this? It's an underground parking lot. This, this is how they look like in, in our, our city. So this is the lot that it all happened? Looks like they're still investigating. Funny. Funny that this is my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work! Hey, what are you thinking? Well, they are going to be my co-workers three years from now, after all. I guess, but... No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know, attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes. I'm trying not to stand out too much here, so... You... Wait, actually? Hey there! <laughs> Who's this? You expected to go down on notice there, partner? Partner? What do we got here? 
Looks like the ba what does that say? A bambina. <laughs> Looks like the bambina got loose from the ranch and now is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. God, he's hot. <laughs> There's a bunch of hot people Mr. here. Mr. Marshall. <laughs> Marshall looks like he's a sheriff to me. Jesus. Looky here, Bam Bandini. I know how you feel. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? Strike! Sorry. <laughs> this is our claim, our territory. With the mother load of evidence. You're fixing on messing what's ours. You regret it, partner. You think this dude muse? Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> he definitely muse. You know what dreams in the cacti out in the desert dream? You want to? What is this guy talking about? <laughs> is he is he drinking on the job? <laughs> you head along home now. Happy trails, Vanilla. Bye. What a strange dude. Was that a uh, ombre, a friend of yours? That means uh, is that man a friend of kinda, yours? Kinda, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West? It seems. I think he's supposed to be the detective in this case. Where's Gum? Oh wait, Gumshoe's dead. <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> Look, a door. This must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open! A mysterious lock! I failed to see what's so mysterious about this. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Stop being such a Debbie Downer, right? Stop being such a big! Oh, yeah, there you go. Look! A stylish glass walled room! Very nice! I could see the whole parking lot from in there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe. Huh? Cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. Okay. Um, I hate to break it to you, but I think it's probably just a security guard office. Like in the FNAF movie? <laughs> you know, I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. Too bad they don't give a test for common sense. You gotta examine the step. You gotta examine the ladder, bro. Oh, what are you doing, stepladder? Oh, ho! A ladder! <laughs> um, that's a stepladder. What's the difference in scientific terms, please? Scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Wright. This, is, this all seems to be horribly familiar somehow. Oh, there's a phone. Here, a phone! Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything! We gotta pay for it. My ears! No! My ears! <laughs> Here you see the parametric pressure. What is she blabbling about? Hey! What did you just say? See, you can hear me just fine. The phone's broken. What is that? <sighs> wow, why are you so tired? I'm always tired. Yeah. This wall is in our way! Hulk smash! <laughs> it, it's got a faucet for water. Wait, I know! This wall is merely a facade, hiding the truth. This is no wall, but a water tank! I failed to see how that makes makes any difference either way. The fuck? An oil drum! Looks like it's filled with water! It, it's heavy! I can't even budge it! We drove over there is on the side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in here and do a stick out. I think you'll probably just get arrested. <laughs> in fact, may not even have to hide in a drum to get arrested. <laughs> what? I'm not suspicious. Oh, there's a gate. This is where the cars leave the lot. The air on the ground makes it look like the entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both. Kind of like a dual purpose. Aha! Theory of revel Revelivity! Reliability? No, it's relativity. Oh. What? Huh? I've got to write this down. Oh, hey, hey, Mr. Ray. Maybe you know, was Mr. Relativity German or was he British? Mr. Rehability? I'm not 
Are you sure that was his name? What are we talking about? What's this? It's a wallet. <laughs> a wallet? Uh, excuse me, officer? Wait! What are you doing, Mr. Ray? What am I That's doing? evidence! <laughs> I just found a wallet. I gotta hand it over to the police. I don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything in a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. Uh, how is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. Foldable law found at the crime scene. There seems to be something inside. I'm called to duty already and at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you a trick to examine the evidence in detail, okay? By the way her eyes are sparkling, I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay now. Look at the court record. Okay. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now, let's start examining from every angle. Alright, so there's rotate. Oh, look! I think there might be a clue here. You should check it out with a press of enter. Or, uh... We did it! Oh, look. This, this is an ID card. Sergeant Bruce Goodman. ID number 5842189. 5842189, 5842189, See, well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess. So I don't see what's so scientific about about what we what doing this. All we do is just open a wallet. <laughs> that was that scientific. <laughs> Investigator's ID found the prosecutor's office crime scene. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I gotta be on my toes from now on. Is there anything else here? Guess not. Is there an area we can move to now? I guess we didn't finish here? I don't know what the else is here to investigate. Also, the buttons look like that's like an elevator, so you take the car and then it like... <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh wait, there's a slide! LB! Oh. <gasps> wow. <laughs> it's his car. I gotta kill- Wait, the subordinate's car. It was Miles Edgeworth's car. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Mm, I wonder what that is. Way up partner? Looks like we got no intention of going home quietly. Can you stop shaving? <laughs> the sheriff. Like I said before, here's our claim. You best be moseying along, unless you're fixing to fight the bullet. I'll bite the bullet. Uh, scary. <laughs> Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Well, well. The little f Philly's got a good nose on her. You wanna know who rides that red Mustang with the with the body in her saddle, huh? Please! Why do you talk like this? No problem, partner. About time for Vizzles? Vizzles? Vizzle Vizzles? Vittles anyway. Get yourself to the saloon up on the twelfth floor of the prosecutor's office. Might just find you a a what? A sir Sir Vesta? You like? Prosecutor's office. Where's this guy think he is? And when? That's for matter. Note to self, look up Vittles Saloon in Carvesa. I know what a saloon is, it's like a type of bar. Maybe we should go check out room 1202, the high prosecutor's office. Oh. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like, just keep your paws off of our claim. Right, great. That's all we needed to look at, was the car! Great! Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Excuse me! Where are you two all set? Us? Oh, I was right! It was a woman! <laughs> What's this? She couldn't be. 
You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. She's so pretty. Hello, half and half, was it? Oh, oh, uh, thanks. And you, sir? Uh, yes? Some crunchy goodness coming your way. I will eat that. <laughs> this looks yummy. Uh, thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passer buyers. Or are you officers? Oh, uh, no, but you. You look like, the, look like the type to have clearance. Oh, thanks. Well, that's hardly a. a that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even in my. My days as a cough up queen are over. What's a cough up queen? Cough up, huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes. You might say, yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? Fuck you, girl. I'm referring to the murder. The stabbing of that detective. What? <laughs> A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough of queen. <laughs> Tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you get forgetting it. Or before you know it, you'll be having... I'll have you whimpering that at my heels! <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yikes, she really means it. Why does she look so pretty? Why are all the people in this case hot? <laughs> A defense attorney must be able to fight. How about you? Do you think you can win? How about snagging Lunchland's Pickle Supreme lunchbox? Wow, it's really crunchy! A box of pickles? Kind of a sour lunch if you ask me. I don't know, Cameron, would you eat it? Maybe. How about this card? Lunches! Vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not cards belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card, it's an ID card that belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady, why? That's like showing a fine hand ham to a detective. Why do I actually feel like I'm being mocked? <laughs> this lady's being mean to me, Cameron. <laughs> Be mean back. I don't wanna, she's hot. <laughs> Somehow I knew. Yesterday I, was the day of, the, of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny? Was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know by the foul misdeeds of evil ones who haunt the dens of inequality. Wow, I was surprised I said that sentence. <laughs> evil ones. Prosecutors. They have no qualms of all that blackmailing the names of innocence. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one all the of uh, most evil one of all. They gave an award to King of Prosecutors. What a farce. So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. Oh, that's a roundabout way of saying it. I was almost compelled to lay serve lunches with something foul. What, like laxatives? Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young miss. Mock me with your own- mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough-up queen. Hey! The most heinous of all was of the evil ones, the ones they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof of he devours the evilest lunches of all. Well, like a ham and cheese really? sandwich. <laughs> really what? I'm totally confused. <laughs> One thing's clear, the lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. What'd you witness, Angel? You think it- well, her name is Angel Star, do you think it's like a porn name? Yeah. Okay. So what exactly did you see that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was... Fascinatingly- it was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel like I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. <laughs> 
to see Lana Scythe wield that knife, and so... God damn it, we're not doing good at this case already. <laughs> Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean, you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties in this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the remic bead of Lana Sight's night. Wait a second, you know Lana Sight? Sky? Whatever her fucking name is. There's so many fucking things going on. Of course! It's quite a feat becoming a chief prosecutor. How about lunches of sin? Did, how many lunches of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now why would she why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? I mean, to be fair, eat Phoenix, uh, why didn't you? <laughs> can we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from far east. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, the box lunches are hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? N no. Only true connoisseurs can understand. Oh, uh, wait. Connoisseurs? No, that that's bugged. What? It says it's coming from Emma. Oh. That's a, that's a bug in the game. Okay. <laughs> Cause, right? Cause, isn't she the one that's supposed to be saying that? Yeah, I think so. The kind you can only tell by someone who has tried General Toast Trouble Bite lunch set. I fucked up every word in that sentence. Yeah, never mind, you win. I don't even want to appreciate part of any Tribolite flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works at the security room room here at the prosecutor's office. Your first job is as a security guard. <laughs> <laughs> your, your boyfriend. So is the security room over there? The glass walled spooth? I sell my lunches and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. <laughs> so to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you and Miss Star are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis, not. <laughs> All we're do This is talking the game. <laughs> do you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sent something hus hostile? Hostility? Huh, perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kinda like ten old. Ten-day-old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure case of food poisoning. Scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking, cough up queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Who are you? <laughs> oh wait, we can go to the, the thing. There's the high prosecutor's office. I'm out of here. Aw, oh, shit. Here we go again. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. <laughs> wow, I mean, your voice got real deep. Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. <laughs> look, look, there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Well, on the couch? Whoever's office this is, they must be a real stuck-up jerk. Phoenix Wright, you never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice... <laughs> is my husband. <laughs> Long time no see, Edgeworth. It's what, it's been fucking two months? Huh? Ah! Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> you know him from somewhere? <laughs> uh, uh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! Do prosecutors have fucking fan bases? <laughs> my sister introduced us once and... Right. Her sister is the chief prosecutor, after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. <laughs> no, 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 did, did I? No! It was just Mr. Right here, he... Hey! Don't play me! 
We're, we're just here to investigate a murder case. We're always fucking investigating a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. <laughs> that would be my car. What of it? What? Y y your car? I say one. I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. <laughs> oh, I love him. Look at him. Time You're gonna look at everything office. in this book. <laughs> wow, this jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. This must be his lucky travel jacket. Lucky jacket, right? I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> My, my, my! What an amazing bouquet! Just right for Mr. Edgeworth! No kidding. Hey, there's a card with it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Wendy? I've heard Wendy's that. nuts go in your mouth. <laughs> I've heard that name before. <laughs> oh, it's Wendy Old Bag. Yeah. And beside it, a giant steel samurai! Wow, I want one! Huh? There's something written on the bottom of its foot. Between a rock and a hot place, Wendy. <laughs> Wendy, is she Mr. Edgeworth's fiance? <laughs> um, I don't think so. <laughs> she got so upset. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. <sighs> of prosecutors. Huh? What was that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. K -k -k King of Prosecutors? Yeah, why is Emma talking about the KKK like that? Whoa. <laughs> Fuck the KKK. We the Krusty Krab crew. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe the K stands for cuck, <laughs> but I think that's hers in the C. <laughs> Does it? Yes. It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's K stands for king. Yeah, you, you got a problem with that? I ain't designed the thing. King of Prosecutors. Kinda like, Employee of the Month. Only better. Yeah, no sh- Give it to Edgeworth, King of Prosecutors, on the PD on the day of the murder. You looking at- oh. So that's the King of Prosecutors shield, huh? Well done, Edgeworth. You must be proud to be the King of the Prosecutors. Congratulations, King of Prosecutors! He fucking hates it. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop saying that. <laughs> that still doesn't explain one thing. Why is this tip of the shield broken off? Wait, it is? Yeah. It's not, I... it's not a full shield. Oh. To be fair, it's our first time seeing it. I worked at it's quite tidy as one might be. Why is there a quill? <laughs> what a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. POV, rest in, rest in peace, gumshoe. Yeah, I miss him. Strange, why did they just picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a, su as a souvenir. Don't, he'll sue you. <laughs> Ooh, I want a tea set like that. Ooh, cute, what a pretty tea set. I would yoink it. I go more for an instant tea bag myself. Amazing! The drawer uh, below is filled with packets of tea leaves. Start going through his fucking office, girl! They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend. What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. Oh. Whoa, these are all case files? They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edgerick wasn't good with heights. You must have someone get them for him. <laughs> no, he's just not good with earthquakes, are you? Strange, why didn't I just picture Detective Gumshoe? He must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. I wouldn't say that if you saw him swimming bullets up there on that ladder. <laughs> hey, chessboard! I'm not, I'm not too up to chess, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights! They're swords of really sharp edges! And check out that poor pawn! His head is kinda of spiky! Kinda of reminds me of you! Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player! What's wrong, Mr. Ray? Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair? Nah, it's... it's nothing. Damn. 
Oh, look at him. Isn't he pretty? I once dreamed of being a defense attorney a long time ago. What? Do you want to be a defense attorney, Mr. Andrew? Yet, my path is laid out clearly before me. I have no time to reflect on what might have been. The car outside scared me. <laughs> so, basically, this says that you were the best of the best last year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. <laughs> huh? What was that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downstairs. Oh, downtown. You've been there, haven't you? Where the Tarty Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? Why does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. This is seems to be concerned about his reward, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him about more about yesterday? Hey, you know who this is. Say, so, Ezra, that was wondering about this. M Mr. Wright! Huh? What? Are you sure you should be showing that to Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, he'll take it for sure, wouldn't he? <sighs> I wish I could be on the same side as Mr. Edgeworth. But then my sister would be found guilty! If she sighs any deeper, I'm going to start getting depressed. <laughs> so, the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. I mean last year, it was two months no, ago. No, no, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed it. Oh, uh, wait, no. She didn't do that, I mean... Wait, so you're the chief prosecutor's little sister then? Yes, sir, Emma Sky. Uh, it's nice to meet you again. No, that, no, that didn't sound forced at all. <laughs> oh, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise for me too, to think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprisingly still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand- wait, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth? Well, <laughs> guess we're gonna deal with Dedgeworth again. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? No, I don't work here. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there wasn't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, raging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. And then he shot that guy in the leg. <laughs> Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What, this one? What? That's crazy! <laughs> crazy? Hmm. I some was crazy Some people need one. very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? That's gotta be a story behind that one. How much fuck? <laughs> Chief Prosecutor Sky, yes. We first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago? I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken? Why? Dude, she threw the body in the his mean, car. I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. God damn it! What? Miss Ranch with your knife was the murder weapon? Why do you have a knife? <laughs> to be uh, specific, it was the knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. God damn it. <laughs> Usually, oh. <laughs> um, Edgeworth? Yeah, the murder weapon usually in Edward's toolbox. Traces of victim's blood, no prints. Ooh. <laughs> Here's when we ring, ring, ring. Wait you a wanna, second. Do you want to investigate the blood stain? 
This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edward cut himself peeling an apple. <laughs> What's Edward doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it out in the wild. I can't- Edward? In the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. Now there is a scary thought. <laughs> That is kind of funny, though. <laughs> what? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> Come on, can you take a joke? You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Can you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. You have a cleaning day? Cleaning day. Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. Is that when you got that shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 5.12. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I place little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Oh, uh, regular parking in the entered at 5:12 p.m. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5:15. So the murder happened right after you got back. What? Right. I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. <laughs> um. Oh my God! He's so cute. <laughs> Excuse me, but Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir. At the request of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation's going at all. Um, Sky, sir? No, sir. No name of that kind, sir. Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, but sir... I'm just following orders, sir. He told me to bring this to you. I wasn't aware of the particulars of your agent. Give me your name. Uh, yes, 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 sir. Uh, Meekins, sir. Officer Meekins. <laughs> Officer Meekins, go kill yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> To hear a report and leave. Leave this plane of existence. <laughs> also, good luck with that race next month. Mm, but we sure I didn't know. Poor guy, looks like he was absent on the day that they gave out brains and good luck. <laughs> Poor guy. Right. He, yes, sir. God, he caught me off guard. <laughs> As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. Well, let's do what he says, Mr. Ryan. But, but Andrew, the victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. He seems to have finally calmed down, at least. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that should about wrap up this episode before we dive into the police department. More shit, yeah. Uh, We've done a little bit of investigating, figured out that Miles Edgeworth actually did do this murder. Yeah, um, let's go. Yeah, he didn't do the late It was one. his knife. It his was car. His, his car, the trunk in his car. Yeah. In his office. Yeah. He was he there was, right, was... right before the, the, the time of the murder. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you all for watching this series. Um, we, uh, we're going to end it here because uh, Miles Edgeworth is guilty. <laughs> and... <laughs> Yeah, this is where the LP ends. Yep. <laughs> Flash forward the credits. <laughs> yeah, if for some reason this LP does actually end, then uh, I guess one of us is dead. Okay. And Miles Edgeworth killed us. <sighs> it's probably gonna be me. Unlucky. I would invite him in. <laughs> yeah, he's like a vampire. You need to invite him in before you before he can yeah. come and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, anyways, thanks for watching. Yep. Bye bye. Bye.